Man, oh man. First, before we get into the video, I gotta give a huge shout out to my people at DIYOJ. Bro, they done hooked your boy up. Okay, but not only did they hook me up, they about to hook y'all up too. Now look, if you don't know what DIYOJ is, cause at one point in time, I didn't know what it was either. Until they hit your boy up and was like, hey yo, we got jerseys? We got this jersey, that jersey, this jersey, that jersey. And they said I could choose a custom jersey? Wait, hold on, no, not only did they say it's a jersey, but they said it's a custom jersey. You can't beat that, bro. You can't beat that. Now look, as you see what I got on right now, this is from DIYOJ, okay? This is one of their custom, well, this is one of the jerseys that they do have that I customized myself. They don't just have baseball jerseys, though, okay? They got every sport that you could think of. If that team or that sport wear a jersey, they got it for you. Baseball, basketball, soccer. What else you need? Hockey. They got it all for you, baby. So I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Go hit up my boys at DIYOJ. Okay, it's all in the link description box below. Also, use code DEPANTV10 for 10% off your order. I promise you, they hooked me up. They finna hook y'all up too. You don't wanna miss out. Shout out to my people at DIYOJ. Once again, DEPANTV10 for 10% off your order. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, y'all, so look. Right here on the screen is literally what the video is about. Now, basically, this right here is a whole list of words that normally black people will use, okay, but white people can't use these words. This, this is the video that we're finna get into. So I just want y'all to see the list first, okay? Because she didn't show the list in the video. I had to do my own little research to see what she was talking about, whatever. But this right here is the list. Now, if you read it, simp, sus, boo, ba you telling me a white person can't use bae? What, bro? Oh, she also said that if you use these words as a white person, this is a cultural appropriation. <laughs> you can't use pressed, finna. Nobody want to use finna anyways, bro. It just, come on. Ghetto? Ghetto is a regular word. Though, though, head A, dead A. Bro, that's first of all, that's not even, okay. Read, what, read, someone, what? Extra, this is a whole list of dumb words, okay? I Seriously, but we're gonna go ahead and get into the video, bro. I just want to really show y'all that. This, uh, uh, <laughs> just play the video, bro. Oh, white people, you can't use that word. You can't use none of the words that I listed. That that is a cultural appropriation to black. You cannot use that word. Okay, don't use them. Why shouldn't white people use A A V E? Let me clear the room. Ever since I made that video, I got a comment surrounding the conversation if white people can use A A V E if done appropriately. Here is why the answer is no. But before we get into that, let's talk about this comment right here. Well, yes, they can because one, you can't control what people do, and two, it's a language, so that means anyone can learn it or be born around it or grow up around it. Exactly. And, and thank you. For whoever, thank you, God, God, is there, whatever your name is, thank you. Simple as that, bro. You people be making a big deal about nonsense. It's so many other, it's so many other things going on in the world, and y'all worried about somebody using y'all language. And stop saying y'all, not every black person use finna, not every black person use bae. Like my girl, she don't say bae or boo, she say babe. Okay, so you literally can't just put these list of words on the whole culture of black people. You just can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And if, if a white person grew up around the world, because there's a lot of white people who grew up in areas where a lot of people they grew up around would say words like finna. Bay, boo, and they grew up around that. You're going to pick up for what you grew up around. So obviously they're going to grow up saying these words. They're not thinking about no cultural appropriation. Y'all need to get off white people. Mm. I almost just said the word. It's not a bad word, but y'all need to get off white people dicks. Like, dang, y'all need to let go, release, release their nuts. Like y'all, y'all, some of y'all black people really got white people meat in y'all mouth. Just release, bro. Release their freaking nuts out y'all mouth. Y'all talk so much about white people. So much about white people. And I'm getting fed up about it. I'm getting seriously fed up. Not everything is cultural appropriation. If a person used your language, if a person dressed like your culture, it's a cultural appreciation. You should be glad and happy that these people is picking up something that started with your culture. That means that your culture is literally uh, is motivating or inspiring them to, you know what I'm saying, dress like you. Uh, speak languages like you. Y'all people need to grow up, bro. Y'all need to grow up. Y'all worry about cultural appropriation when freaking gas is five dollars. Worry about getting a new president. That's what we need to worry about. That's 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 what we need to worry about. Don't vote Biden back in. That's this is what we need to worry about. Y'all worrying about the wrong stuff. The wrong stuff right now. God dang. 
okay and i'm gonna get into that as well then she adds and inclusive with others y'all y'all being black people get mad and say no hiding behind the notion protecting the culture sounds like a hypocrite to me while there are many things wrong with this ignorant ass comment let me just say for starters it's not hypocrite it's hypocrites Two, not only is it unfair, but inappropriate to include yourself in a cultural aspect of a group, but not experience the, I don't know, the trauma, the systematic racism, and the injustice that said group experiences. Oh me my God, bro. Leave, man, bro. Just leave it alone. You people want to be freaking victims. Stop with the victimization mindset, please. You people, all y'all want to do is be a victim. Y'all want to be a victim towards everything, bro. Victim this and victim that. Victim this and victim. You haven't experienced the trauma. You haven't. Bro, stop putting experiences on some black people. Some black people dealt with trauma, which I feel like we all dealt with some type of trauma. It ain't got to be. First of all, if you speaking on slavery and all that, nobody in today's day and age. And I'm not, I don't know, but nobody in this generation, okay? Nobody in Gen Z done experienced freaking uh, what is it? Uh, slavery. Nobody has been, so you can't say that's trauma for us. Slavery don't have an effect on me because I didn't live through it. I don't know how I felt to get beat on. I don't know how I felt to do work without getting paid. I don't know how that felt. Okay, the only work that I did and didn't get paid for it was freaking chores. Yeah, that's only because I didn't do the chores right. That's, that's probably the only reason I didn't get paid. But dude, y'all want to be victims so much. Get out of this victimization mindset. Y'all need to stop. Let it go, bruh. Everybody dealt with trauma. Everybody dealt with some type of racism. Everybody dealt with everything that a black person say, oh, you guys don't know how it feels to do with this. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. You people need to get that together. Just because you're not seeing somebody go through this, because the media, because all y'all do is feed off the media, just because the media is not putting it out there does not mean it's a normal white person out here who done got beat by the police. Does not mean that it's a normal white person out here who don't uh, who don't have it all together and all figured out. It's a lot of white people who don't got it all together and all figured out. It's a lot of white people struggling to make the bread, to make the ends meet. It's a lot of white people who dealt with trauma. It's a lot of white people who dealt with racism. Bro, not only black people deal with the junk, okay? Y'all, man, where my headphones go? You made me lose. It. If I, if if my headphones is broke, I swear you paying for a new one. Meanwhile, the language and characteristics used by black people constantly gets ridiculed and called things such as unprofessional, ghetto, and lax class, though it is natural to us. So it is inequitable because you guys exploit the black experience. Meanwhile, black people just exist and still get judged and denied. But Key, what about the palm color people who grew up in southern marginalized regions? Okay, what does that have to do with anything? Well, they grew up around black people, so they adapted to the culture. Don't you think it's unfair that only white people get to reap the benefits of the black cultural experience? What do you mean by that? How do they benefit? Because they profit off of it? Don't you find it odd that the language, hairstyles, and aesthetic created by black people are only considered ghetto until a white person does it, then it's trendy and cool? Like in 2015 when Marc Jacobs reinvented the Bantu knots and then tried to call it the Jacob knot. Okay, well- Oh, oh, or when Hailey Bieber tried to come out with that lip combo even though blacks and Latinas have been doing it for years. Okay, but- Or the worst of them all, period Brits. Who the hell is that? Period, eh, period- Okay, okay. Okay. Are you you talking about that? You were talking about that stupid song, bro. I don't know if y'all ever heard that song, bro. Uh, it was trending. It, it was trending. It's period ah period uh period. It's a white girl and bro. It just sounds terrible. Okay, it sounds terrible. If you seriously mad about that, you need Jesus. Two. It's funny how you talk about hair and you talk about oh uh the braids and the whatever, bro. Whatever nonsense you talking about. Number one, like I said, bro. Well, no, number two, like I said, dude, hair from the black community and hair from white people look y'all done took some of the white people hair and made it to your own and y'all made it trendy too okay y'all worried about the wrong things black people wear blonde hair they wear red hair they wear orange hair they were all type of hairs that originated in other cultures other cultures but you talking about a white person that wear braids bro it shouldn't matter what somebody else wear it literally should not matter if they like braids they should be able to wear braids you're not going to tell me what to wear and what not to wear you're not going to tell me what to say and what not to say whether you think it's cultural appropriation or not guess what i'm gonna look at you in your face and say oh no ma'am it's cultural appreciation you should be happy that i'm talking like you you should be happy that well you should be happy that i'm talking like the uh um like your culture like you like bro y'all be mad at the wrong things bro really mad at the wrong things 
it junk drives me crazy. The fact that some of y'all really think like this. Y'all think is, oh, well, black people, I mean, white people did this, and they profit off this, and they profit off that. Bro, y'all profit, there's so many black people that profit off blonde hair, uh, freaking red hair, orange hair, uh, Cr a straight hair like bro come on i'm just i'm just being honest this is just a lot bro it's a lot i can't keep up with it no more i just seriously can't keep up with it and i don't care i, I don't care it, even if i was wrong about that i don't care bro culture pre appropriation is the dumbest thing ever bro y'all worried about the wrong things bro get your priority straight hey i get it you see only white people actually get to experience the black experience without actually uh how do you say this experiencing it because it's all fun and games until you read that somebody on the news got in the back 60 times. Yeah. Then it's not so. I, I want to read that. I, I want to see what dumb text she put on there. Not to exclude uh, black men and women who get denied for wearing black hairstyles in workspaces. If you, is, if you are black and you get denied for wearing black hair. You know what you can get? You you can get money. Because that's a lawsuit. That's a lawsuit. Bro, they can't deny you because of the color of your hair. So y'all's people are so stupid. You can't... Bro, that is a freaking lawsuit if that ever happens. If it ever happens, that's a lawsuit. They can't do that? Come on, bro. Y'all... Oh, this is... A... Yeah. Or blacks who use AAVE getting called uneducated and un uneducated and uneducated. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the words that was on that list are very uneducated. Okay. Me personally, I use some of those words and I know that these words are uneducated. But this is what I grew up around. I grew up around people saying finna, I'm finna go to the store. I grew up around that. So obviously I adapt to them things. But as I got older, I start to become a little bit more professional when I talk. I try to just use words, you know, that make me at least sound some type of knowledgeable. But at the end of the day, I'm still me and I'm not going to change the way I talk. Whether people think it's uneducated or not, I'm just not going to change it. Yes, those words are uneducated. I I admit to it. But this is what I grew up around. I grew up around my family saying finna uh, about, you know what I'm saying? I, I grew up around that. You know, I can't change that. I mean, I can, but I just choose not to because at the end of the day, it's me. It's who I am. You people, y'all get mad at the at, at little stuff, bro. Stuff that really don't matter. Whether people believe that it's uneducated or not, bro. People's opinions don't matter. They don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And even when I see a white girl or white people say the words that we say, I just look at it like, dang, that's very, that, that's uneducated. I mean, I don't look at it and I just, I'm like, oh my God, she, oh my God, it's so cute. And I know, I just say, dang, that's, she uneducated. Not gonna lie. Like, period, period, that song was terrible. That song should not even be out. And that, 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 that girl, terrible. Yeah. Then it's not so fun, is it? But they can do it because they're from, marginalized background when we're being marginalized for years oh, okay no oh, lord she seems she seems very hurt okay um she seems very 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 hurt and you know i wish her the best in life you know what i'm saying and i wish everybody the best in life who de who has a victim mindset who keeps other people racist or whatever into their mouth whatever i don't care look Culture appreciation, culture appropriation, I don't care what it is, bro. At the end of the day, it don't matter. Dude, it don't matter. It, it, you should not be worried about what another person's wearing, what another person's doing with their life, what another person, you shouldn't be worried about none of that, bro. It seriously don't matter. You say white people did this and white people making money off this, or, oh, well, okay, whatever. If they want to wear braids, they want to wear braids. If they want to wear dress, they can have dress. If they want to have waves, they can have waves, bro. Who cares? Who seriously cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Are you telling me if I wanted to, if I wanted to dye my hair blonde, if I wanted to dye my hair red or something, I got to learn, I got to learn where it, what the culture, I got to learn where it originated from. I got to learn the culture behind it. Like, no, I don't have to. If I want to wear it or dye my hair a certain way, I feel like I don't need to learn about the culture unless I really want to be a part of that culture. Like if I want to be a part of this or that, then I'm going to learn more about what I'm, what I want to be a part of. But if I just want to wear something like turbans, I don't need to learn where turbans originated from. It's a freaking piece of clothing, bro. Who cares? It's a clo it's a piece of clothing. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.